Today we're going to make the uh, cable tie mask. It's reinforced in there, gives it a good pocket so it doesn't squeeze down on your mouth or your nose with the elastic bands and they're really comfortable on. So watch this video and you'll learn how. Um, all you need to do is cut out a circle uh, 10 and a quarter inches. Um, you're going to need cable ties and elastic bands. You can do, I found these long hair ones that work really well, but you can just buy any elastic and sew it together. This ends up being a total of uh, 10 inches if you opened it up. You're just going to fold your fabric in half one way, fold it in half the other way, and then you're going to cut it. So along here, and then along these two seams. Now that you have it cut into four pieces, you are gonna separate two together, and then you're gonna pin them along this section here. Now that you pinned it, you're just gonna do a quarter inch seam around the rounded edge. Take that out and do the second one. Now that we have both those pieces sewn together around the outside edges, we're gonna open them up and put the right sides together. So you're just gonna line your corner up and just pin. And just continue till you get it all together. I do one corner piece first. And then I flip to this side, then do the same on the other side. Kind of lines up pretty well. And then when we sew, we want to leave an inch on each side open so that when we turn the fabric inside out, it'll pull through. Like I said, an inch away from the edge there. And then you're just going to do another quarter inch seam following the edges. You don't have to worry about up here at the top. Just keep going. And then you want to stop just before the edge there. Lift your presser foot and turn your fabric. And go down the next side. And just keep the quarter inch going around. All the way to the end. Once you've removed your pins, I like to put my index finger in the open end here. I just go all the way over, bunch it all the way to the corner on this side. I grab it with my thumb and keep my thumb together. And the thumb comes back out the other side and I just pull the fabric through that hole. Now with my fabric turned inside out, so I just take my hot iron and I start on the unopened corner and I push in with my nose all into that rounded area. And then I go back and forth and I switch and do the same on the other side. Then what we're going to end up doing is putting our elastic in. It's going to put fold your tip there. And you put my elastic there and then I just fold around it. And you just want it to have a bit of a ledge there to sew on. And because I'm putting cable tie in, I don't I want to leave a gap in my sewing so by putting a small piece of that cable tie I cut in there it just gives me a guide for sewing. I'm just going to take the piece to my sewing machine. I just line my needle up there and put my presser foot down. And I like to do a forward and a backward stitch at the beginning and the end of my row just to make it a little more secure. Walk your needle over because you do not want to hit that cable tie. Once your needle is going to be on a stitch where it's going to hit it, obviously don't let it go down. You're going to lift your presser foot and put it down. Guide your fabric till it just comes over that cable tie there. And then you just continue to the end. And again, I like to go back just to reinforce it because you got that elastic pulling on that side. 
go ahead and repeat that exactly on the other All right, side. Now that I have both my elastics in, I'm going to do the edge pieces that fold over. And well, you're just going to guide these pieces over. I don't pin them because there's, for me, not a lot of room to pin. So you just want to fold it and leave a space that is right in between here for the elastic. So you're just going to fold it over there. So if the cable tie sits right there, we're going to mark on each side of it so that we know where to sew. If you just hold the line right here, that corner is where you want to start your stitch. So just get it under there and put your presser foot down. And then go ahead and start your first stitch there. And you're going to come right up till you get to that line right there. So you're just going along the edge of the fabric there. And then when I see that blue line in my area, I leave my needle down, lift my presser foot, and now I'm gonna come up to the top and this is gonna create the pocket for your cable tie. So then you're just gonna sew up. And then when you get just close to the top there, you don't wanna go all the way up. You're gonna again lift, have your needle down, lift your presser foot. Then you're just gonna come over about four stitches. Again, needle down, press your foot up. And as you see, you're gonna come right down there where that blue dot is. So you're just gonna go ahead and put my ear. Machine stitch to there. You're gonna lift your presser foot. You just wanna keep a bit of tension on there though. So then you're gonna come all the way along. To that corner again needle down press your foot up down again and now you're just gonna sew all the way along here you can use whatever color thread you want I did pink so you can kind of see the pocket I'm making and plus it's fun to mix your colors so just come right down to there with your press your foot and you're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side and you can see you've made your pocket there so that when your cable tie goes in, it's not gonna twist. All right, so now we have both upper and bottom sewn. You're gonna take your cable tie, keep the smooth side out, bends better. You're just gonna put it into that pocket you just made and you're gonna to turn to your other side and as you do that, you're gonna push down on your cable tie so that it forms in the mask. And with either heavy duty scissors, don't use your sewing scissors, you can cut that cable tie and you're just gonna insert it in that hole on that side. Then you're gonna take this one, I slide it underneath now we've got a gap here we made with the um, by sewing over that cable tie so it fits in there nice otherwise your stitching would be too tight push it down again to make that pocket and then I just hold it and cut it right above where the fabric would be and then I put it in that little pocket over there and there you got it you have just made yourself a cable enforced face mask that is amazing to breathe in. I do have a more detailed instruction one on my uh, YouTube channel, but give it a try. Questions or comments, just let me know. Thanks for watching.